UFC DC. This man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, here he is for my money. Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. big-time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Mercier gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Just missed with the left there. leg kick. You can't take many of those, you better check. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, massive head kick there, we'll see if he can finish. Beautiful punch. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Joy gets caught with that punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. He's able to slip the left there. like the overhand counter landed. Nice punch there by Choi. Able to check the high kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice right hand. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Some nice back and forth action here. Nice kick. Clipped him with the right hand there. 
Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Oh, Bon Mercier gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Just misses with the right. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Effective punch there by Choi. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Great punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Superman punch. He got the turnover in that kick. Right hand on point. Great punch. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. All right, now we'll get you some highlights, DC, from that previous round. You know he's got a penchant for landing those head kicks and certainly found that form in that previous round. Very rarely do you get a fight where a guy gets kicked in the head this many times. He better make some adjustments. He better keep his hands up, or he's gonna go good night very soon. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. Okay, a right, high right, right. number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, Bob Mercier's lower jaw. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big punch land. Ooh. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Nice body kick. Back and forth we go. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mix it Oh, there we go. Yep, but he's got him secured in a half guard now. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Obam Mercier. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this. Yes, they have to be mature about the fact that this is a real fighting position, and the guy on top has a lot of opportunities to finish. If he's going to attack this north-south choke, he's got to drive that shoulder deep into his neck, really start to sink his weight away, which will in turn cut the oxygen from his opponent, allowing him to get the finish. 
Just over two minutes to go in round two. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Good punch, Lance. That was a thudding leg kick. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Superman punch lands! Connects with a right. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Maybe a cut to the left of the nose. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break it? All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, side. man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. And that's the end of round number two. Saved by the bell. That's the end of the round. You heard the horn, and it came just as he was stunned by a huge shot right before the end of the round. So, saved by the bell. Back to the stool, 60 seconds with which to recover. We'll see if his corner can keep his head in the fight. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering right, back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, big punch land. Just out of range with the big right hand. Bob Mercier's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh, nice. Nice. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, he's hurt. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Nice straight punch. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. 
Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Obama Mercier. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finish the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Obama Mercier. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab the head or he's going to get blasted. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Closed guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long? Felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Very nice leg kick there by Choi. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you, what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you got to be getting out of those positions where he's kneeing you. You got to be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You got to just really, truly be working the entire time you guys are in close. Just misses there with the left. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Nice. Man, that cut has really opened up. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice strike landed there by Choi. Ooh, what a head kick. up again, so the takedowns have been there, as have the get -ups. Final seconds of round three. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we get this next round. Huge block there. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh! oh! he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. Oh! He's done! He's done! Oh, straight right! Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> Got the single collar tie. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, the cut on that. Oh, he got a real good, too. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. 
All right, single collar tie now. Beautiful strike. Try to establish that jab. Beautiful leg lands. lands. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Three minutes to go in the round. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Choi. Side control now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Under two minutes now to go. Close guard. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. And just inches. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Punch over the top. Oh, big left. just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliotis calls stop to this contest at three minutes, 57 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean. Well, he's smiling.